As we head north, leaving Jacksonville for the Outer Banks of North Carolina, we're eager to be underway. First stop is James Island, South Carolina. We had heard great things about the James Island Park from our son, and it looks like a great place to use for visiting Charleston. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get to Charleston on this trip. So we're currently driving along Riverland Road. This is the road that was suggested, well, I'm sorry, this is the road that GPS will take you into James Island County Park. But they suggested that you not do that because of these overhanging trees, and I think you can see exactly why. It's gorgeous. But instead, they'll have you come in Folly Beach Road to Camp Road. That's what we did, and that's what we would suggest if you're going to James Island County Park. As you can see, for the most part, the campsites have nice spacing in between and there's a fair amount of vegetation. The campground is well used uh, since it's so close to Charleston and does have such a great reputation. There is a good amount of visitation. In addition to the campsites, the campground maintains a number of cottages that are also rented. Some of the wildlife that we saw at James Island was this tree full of wood storks. Folly Island is named after its coastline, which was once densely packed with trees and undergrowth, as the old English name for such an area was called a folly. Folly Beach um, on Labor Day weekend, which is kind of crazy. This place is busy, busy. Parking is insane, but uh, it's a, it's a neat little town. They little remind different. they remind me a lot of Tybee Island, where I grew up in Savannah. Uh, the beach uh, sand is very similar color. The uh, water is similar color, and the waves are very similar. Uh, it wasn't nearly this crowded in Savannah growing up. <laughs> no, it wasn't this crowded anywhere growing up. So happy to be here, and it's uh, like I said, it's a neat little town, and we'll uh, show you uh, some of it. So we're here on the um, Folly Beach, free pier, unless you're fishing, but free just to come out and walk. It's uh, long, it's wide, and it's beautiful. Fairly new, I think right here in the center of town. There you can see 
beach is busy on Labor Day weekend. We had lunch over there at the Blue Blue Bar and Grill, I think it was called, BLU. It was very good, it was nice outdoor seating. It was one place we could get into that didn't have a two hour wait. And there's a, there's a little bar and grill here at the pier. Very nice. Look at how nicely this is set up for fishing. Got the rod holders, benches. It's pretty cool. Yeah, get a picture. As we leave Folly Beach, headed back to the campground, we are amazed at the amount of traffic still coming in in mid-afternoon. Well, we're ready to roll. We've had an awesome time here on James Island, albeit was short. So now we're heading up to Huntington Beach State Park, which we hear is fabulous, and we're anxious to check it out. Yeah, this has been a really pleasant surprise. Our uh, son had uh, told us how nice this park was, uh, but seeing it in person made a, uh, a definite impression. We will be coming back, and uh, that'll be a great time when we do. Yeah, so as we always say, make the best of every day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.